remember, I remember with playing Wealth, definitely. Like, I was getting into the game, really into it. And in that one moment, I think, I don't know why. Um, I think I was running towards the byline, um, and me and Marshall like, kind of done a shoulder to shoulder, but I went to plant my feet and go again. And then, cause I don't know what the feeling is, like, it was weird. It's like my knee clicked in and out. I was like, oh, I went down, down, and I, I kind of had a feeling in my head that something wasn't right because I tried to get up and carry on and play. And then I just knew, nah, I just don't feel right. I was watching the game with like a group of friends. Um, and as he went down, I kind of saw it and looked away. Um, and then the rest of my friends were like, ah, oh, I think you're going to get a call later. And he's like, he's hurt. Kind of looked up at the screen and just went quiet. There was something in my head that was telling me, you yeah, know, this one's a long-term injury. Obviously, I was gutted because I thought like I was getting into my stride at Everton. You know, I started knowing the players, how they play, because I didn't have a full pre-season, almost coming straight into the team. So I spoke to him about half an hour after he did it. He rang me um, and he was quite calm. So at the time, the hope was, oh, maybe it's not. But whilst he was calm, he was very unsure. He was just like, yeah, I just felt an explosion in my knee. And to me, that's like, it's the last thing I need to hear or want to hear about. It. So as much as there was hope, it was like, well, at least I know he's calm at the moment. Uh, I said, OK, well, once you get your scans done, we'll pick up and we'll talk again. And he kind of just said to me, like, yeah, uh, I ain't going to be playing for a year. When, when I got the news of the scanning, he said, yep, yeah, unfortunately, it's 10 to 12 months or whatever they said, and it's part of football. Well, I'd done my meniscus and ACL. After I got injured, you know, I totally kind of switched off away, away from the football. You know, the mm. only game that I went to watch was the last home game. You know, because I know mentally if I go and watch it, you now I'm going to want to be out there. But I can't be out there and I'm not out there for a little while, for a long while. So I just decided, you know, to, to, to switch off and just go in the gym, do my work, go home, enjoy doing things with my family and, you know, go from there. For Yannick, it was a bit more complicated because he had two operations. So we kind of had to wait for one aspect of it to heal, which was his meniscus. And then we went on to do his ACL. Because I've been working so hard over the like, last four or four, five years, you know, my mentality is already there to work hard. I'm working with like my sprint coach as well, um, Darren Campbell. So for me, it's like the most interesting part coming that it's things that I've always wanted to do, but I've kind of like neglected because I'm already fast, I'm already strong, but now I can start from the baby steps and build it up and turn into this player that I see myself being. At times it was his fitness and exercise and health professional to being a friend. When he needed a friend, he got a friend. He needed my expert advice, he got my expert advice. And at times they overlap in the same conversation. Um, and it's finding that fine balance so that he knows I'm not just saying it for the sake of his job, I'm saying it because I care. I've learned that, that my mentality is really strong. I think the composure that I've been looking for over the years, you know, which when I was speaking to a lot of my coaches that have been coaching us, you know, I get that. A lot of it comes from when you come from the academy system as well, that helps massively, uh, but it comes with age as well. You wouldn't like it, you wouldn't like to say it's a blessing in disguise. But it's happened now, so i got to look at it as, yeah, it is, because I can do things that I couldn't do before. All the little things that I needed to do in my game, I can probably do now. And when I come back, I know I'm full package rather than, oh, I still need to do some little things. The hunger is to, to be back. You know, I want to be back to prove the fans at Everton what I'm really about.